Hear me out, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever found yourself completely immersed in the task at hand and completely focused on the work without feeling the pass of time? This is known as flow. It's a state of mind that people usually feel when doing enjoyable activities or even at work. Now, sometimes we, we encounter a similar sensation when we are doing sports or, for example, running. And this is known as the runner's high. You may have felt it if the satisfying sensation during or after a run or just doing sports in general. And this is the difference while feeling a peaceful flow when you're running, for example, like this. Versus feeling like every step is our strain to our bodies like this. <coughs> Achieving a runner's high while doing any sport or running or any vigorous activity is one of the secrets that many athletes use to be so good. And I'm wondering why this is not common knowledge so everyone could apply it and be better at their given activity. So hear me out. If we understand how to get in this runner's high state, it would allow us to train harder and longer without feeling so much pain which will get us closer to our fitness and athletic goals. Today, I will talk in this video what's happening in your brain during a runner's high, how it benefits you in achieving fitness and performance goals, and how you can condition yourself to reach this state of mind more frequently while training. Hello, my name is Andres Carbonell. I'm a PhD student in cell and cancer biology, and my goal is to help you optimize your health and performance in different aspects of your life. So let's be clear. I used to hate running, like everyone else. I, for me, this runner high just came very, very late. And I have done sports through my whole life, and I remember that in many times, for example, while training or while being in the game, I could feel this similar state where you just lose completely the track of time, you feel, you stop feeling any pain, and you're just focusing on your activity. And this is easier, for example, when you're playing sports, for example, I think many people can relate, but when you are solo training, it was very complicated. But since a few years, I started to change my approach to running which have helped me to get closer to achieve this runner's high. And something that I have to make clear is that this runner high is a subjective experience. It's, it's felt differently in every person, and it's very hard to just come to one common ground. And at the same time, there are different levels of it. Depending on the sensation or what's the process, you may feel it stronger or let's say a different levels of this runner's high, but anyways, if we actually get closer to that, it will allow us to train harder and to be motivated that we can actually push our bodies more. As I see it, there's no time to waste. Hopefully, at the end of this video, you will be able to apply some of the tips that will allow you to train harder and faster so you can achieve your fitness goals faster. So first of all, what is a runner's high? When you start running, there's different things that are happening in your brain. And most of us have heard before that when you're running, you start releasing a lot of endorphins, and this is what makes us feel good after a run. And while this is true, some neuroscientists do not attribute to that, and actually the runner's out is attribute to another system in the brain, which is the endocannabinoid system. Well, some research suggests is the anandamides, which are molecules that combine to the endocannabinoid receptors in our body, are the ones responsible for these runner's high. And these molecules are similar to those found in cannabis or, or marijuana. What I think is like similar to when people consume cannabis or marijuana, that of this relaxation effect and feeling less pain, our body start releasing these molecules to give the same effect. It's like, if you see it a certain way, it's a way of the body to allow you to, let's say, run longer by decreasing the pain and relaxing you in a state of, let's say, flow while doing sports. 
There's a caveat here because when I was going very deep into the literature about achieving a runner's high, I found a recent systematic review where the authors are not completely convinced about the endocannabinoid hypothesis of a runner's high because they found some studies where even these endocannabinoid molecules went down for, after doing sports. And of course, there are some biases and there are certain things to take into consideration. We don't want to go so deep here, but maybe the neurochemistry of runner's high is more complicated than we thought, which also make it very interesting because more research should come and the understanding of our brain will just get better. So what are the benefits of achieving a runner's high? Getting into a runner's height makes doing sports and running more exciting and enjoyable and it will motivate people to even train more and they will feel less stressed about it. Also, many people claim, and I can also say about it, that the more often you get into this state of mind while doing sport, the less anxious you feel afterward. I really feel this relaxation is not just during the sport, but it stays for a long time, which kind of makes you a little bit addicted to always doing sports because you want to be always feeling this relaxation state. And for sure, this also increases the focus and concentration on other tasks. Your mind kind of gets clearer, so it allows me for me to really put the effort to get into this flow state while doing other activities. The last thing is, how can you condition yourself to achieve a runner's high? There are several strategies that I have been applying, what I was able to read from the research and from other people's experiences of how to achieve this runner high. The first thing you need to do is to get in shape and train consistently. You need to train consistently. You will not feel this runner high the first time you run. You need to allow your body to adjust to stress and eventually you will enjoy more. You need to commit to do the training. I will repeat it again, you need to commit to the training. And after that, I guarantee you, you will feel better and eventually you will get into this runner's high. Second is to train with friends. And I think this is for me, it's clear and it's key, is that when, for example, I was doing sports, let's say playing football or basketball or American football, I was always doing team sport and during games, I just felt this high completely. I was not caring about my any pain, about how much I can push. I was just completely focused on the game and it's just a very relaxation sensation. And it was because your friends were always motivating you to be better and you also didn't want to disappoint them. I think if we also use this when running, for example, it will allow us to get more into this runner star. I can give you one example. For example, when I was running the half marathon last year, and you see all the people motivating you running, and you see people running with you, and you know your friends are waiting for you, I really felt this relaxation. I pushed myself even more than I ever did before, and my mind was just very relaxed. So if you can, try to find training paths. There are different groups in your city, try to find them or with friends convince them to do sports together because you start motivating and supporting each other which will allow your mind and your brain and your body to get into this relaxation step and these runner high like states. Consider increasing your, the duration and the intensity of your workouts just by a little increment. For me, at this moment, I have felt more relaxed and more at ease when I train more than 30 minutes and after the 30 minute mark, I start feeling more in this runner high feeling. If the training is too easy or too hard, it will be also hard for you to get in this um, runner's high state. So what is recommended, and I always say it in my videos, is to try to consistently train between zone two, if possible, and zone three. This way is not so easy, but also not so hard in a pace that you can keep even for hours. The next is the environment. For many people, they really feel more at ease and more relaxed when they're running in the nature. If you have access to nature or parks, try to always go running there because it will allow you to feel more relaxed. 
Also for me, I like to go to parks because if I'm running in the streets, I'm always thinking about cars, about people. I wanna be in a place where I don't have to be aware of dangers or any incoming car, and where I can just relax and focus on my running. So even if you have not access to a big park, but you have access to a place where it's very safe and you can run without much of, of worrying, I will suggest to go there if you have no other options. Next is mindful and enjoyment. You need to find a way that you enjoy your workouts. And besides all the feelings of just working out, uh, you have to do things that you make it more enjoyable. As I said, maybe because it's a time you go with friends. I also, for example, like to listen to podcasts. And for me, I have conditioned my mind that I know, okay, the time of running, it's not only for running, but I can also listen to my favorite podcast, for example. And this for me motivates me to go for running and feel me more relaxed because I'm listening to something I was looking forward in the day. And finally, set realistic goals. You will not become a top athlete, but you also have to be the worst one. Make it a goal that you know you can achieve and make it for short and long term so you can actually track your progress and see how you're getting better. And when you have clear goals and a clear reward from this goal, either because you want to look better, you want to perform better, or you want to improve your numbers, you will feel better when you're training and you will be closer to achieve this runner high. I always suggest if you can, maybe try to buy a fitness watch because there you can track your progress and you can see your numbers, how they increase every couple of weeks if you're training consistently. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope these tips can get you closer to achieve this runner's high or at least will make your trainings more enjoyable. Always remember that the feeling of a runner's high is a subjective experience. What I feel might be different from you and from others, so do not compare yourself with what others are feeling, but always have the goal that you want to do this to be able to enjoy and do better on your trainings and running or whatever sports that you're doing. Please let me know in the comments if you ever felt this runner's high or what do you do to get in the state or if you have any recommendations to other people or to myself or what can someone do to be able to train in a more relaxed and a more enjoyable way. If you like this video, please like and comment. And if you're interested in how to train in zone two, which might help you get closer to achieve this runner's high, please watch this video.